As leaders tossed their coins into Trevi Fountain on Sunday, they each made a wish of one day returning to Rome, having fulfilled their G20 pledges. On the key issue of climate change, however, several figureheads left this weekend's meetings somewhat deflated. Ahead of COP26 climate talks in Glasgow, the group committed to the Paris Agreement goal of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. They also pledged action against dirty coal plants by the end of the year, but fell short on a clear target date for zero carbon emissions. The science is clear that we need to act now to halve emissions by 2030 and keep 1.5 degrees within reach. There are no compelling excuses for our procrastination. Leaders meanwhile reaffirmed a so far unmet commitment to mobilize $100 billion meant to aid developing countries in adapting to climate change. In an effort to build a more stable and fair international tax system, the G20 did manage to reach consensus on a minimum 15% tax on multinationals, supposed to come into effect by 2023. As spiking energy prices and supply chain bottlenecks drive up global inflation, they also ruled out a hasty removal of pandemic-induced stimulus measures. And with the world still reeling from the virus, leaders vowed to support the WHO goal of vaccinating at least 70% of the Earth's population by the middle of next year. Abbiamo superato il protezionismo nei prodotti sanitari, assicurato più vaccini per i poveri del mondo. Abbiamo intensificato i legami tra finanza e salute, anche perché è necessario per prevenire eh, epidemie, nuove pandemie. In the periphery, Boris Johnson and Emmanuel Macron continue to trade blows over the escalating Brexit fishing row with the French president warning his country would trigger trade reprisals should Britain not give any ground or water. Macron also had some harsh words for Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison, who he accused of having lied to him over the cancellation of a 50 billion euro submarine building contract in September.